Hey there YouTubers, Levi666 here. I purchased a box of Theros yesterday, uh, cracked it last night, and I just kind of want to share my pulls and talk about the set a little bit. Uh, I'm happy with my pulls, I consider myself to be very lucky. I am like the luckiest bastard when it comes to cracking packs. But diving in, I got uh, Xanagos and Elspeth. Also got a Stormbreath Dragon and uh, Perforos. Now, Perforos and, where's this other one? I got an Erebos. I actually got in my draft boxes. Um, I actually had to call a friend. I, I wasn't able to compete in the uh, pre-release, but my shop sells the boxes for $25 apiece. I was like, yeah, let me go pick up a couple boxes because I want to draft and crack a couple packs of Theros with my buddies. So we open up the boxes, and I took the red one, my buddy took the black one, and in the little bonus pack that you get that are, um, you know, supposed to be tailored to your color, but they're really not, I cracked mine open, and I was just pumped because I got Perforos in my pack. And my buddy cracks it open, and he starts flipping out because he got Erebos in the pack. And I was like, that's weird. I'm like, you got a god and I got a god? And we only got these two boxes? So I had to call up one of my buddies that was playing in the tournament to make sure that it wasn't like a guaranteed pull. I thought it was a guaranteed pull. I thought if you got a box of that color, you got the god of that color to go in that box. And I started thinking of how broken that would be at draft. <laughs> and uh, I just realized that I got really, really fucking lucky. Uh, next pulls were uh, Underworld Cerebus, uh, Metamai... The Ageless, that extra turn Sphinx thing. Right now it's only like three bucks, which was kind of the the saddest mythic pull I had out of my box. Um, but, I mean, it's fine, because I got, I got two Planeswalkers. What did I get? I got the two Planeswalkers and the Dragon. So, I mean, for that to be my fourth mythic out of the box, and there were only four mythics in the box, um, that, that wasn't bad. The, the Cerebus came out of the... Um, the black pack too. So if you can imagine having the God and the Cerebus in draft, I really wish I could have competed. That would have been a bomb ass pack to draft with. Uh, foil spear. I don't know if you can see if that's foiled. Uh, Fleece main lion. Uh, we got the Nykthos uh, shrine to Nyx, which was really really cool card. Um, this is going to see a lot of standard play. Um, you know, I I really think this card is going to come into play with like the monstrous effect and just like super mana ramp. And that's why they had to make sure that Omniscience wasn't reprinted in M14, because I don't think getting up to like 8 or 9 mana in a single turn is going to be very hard, especially around turn 6 or turn 7. I think this format's going to be crazy. Um, Sylvan Carrioted, this is a really good card. This is going to be really good in other formats. So I'm sort of surprised at how low it is right now. I expect that to go up. Uh, I got a whole bunch of these lands. Uh, these lands I care nothing about because I don't really think I'm going to play standard anymore. I actually sold off like all my cards for legacy staples. Um, there we go. Fire Drinker Seder. Uh, that I had to read that a couple times before I realized that actually is a halfway decent card. I thought it was really crap. I I I, I didn't I didn't read all the way through. Whenever. It is dealt damage. I thought it said whenever you deal damage, it deals that much damage. I'm like, that's just stupid. But, alright, so it's not a bad card. Uh, Agent of the Fates uh, is a really good card. I think that's going to go up. Uh, I was surprised to see that that's only around like three or four bucks. Uh, Fabled Hero is another one that's going to be good for white. Um, oh, going back real quick about white. This spear is going to be really good too, I think, uh, with the whole destroy target creature that dealt damage. Uh, the, all the removal in this set is really high-costed, um, and so I think we only have Doomblade for non-black creatures, but then the black got the removal for a single mana. Uh, I, I mean, Mono Black, I think, is probably going to be a deck, uh, it's going to be a strong deck, I think. Uh, but, you know, like I said, only time will tell, and we'll see here. It got uh, Dexos, Annex and Siamede. Uh, a Boon Seder, that's going to probably go up as well. This is going to see a lot of play against Mono Blue or Blue White Control uh, when like you're playing ag or like, like an aggressive deck or just a creature-based deck versus a control deck. Uh, just can't be countered, and Pro Blue is, is really good. Uh, ch -ch -ch Profit of Crufix. This is really interesting. I am not sure how it's going to fit in, but... This Master Biomancer and a whole bunch of elves and low cost just seem like really busted and fun. Uh, I got two of these Biden to Thassas. I think this is like one of the, this and the hammer are like some of the worst. But I got a foiled hammer and uh, the whip. The whip is really cool. Um, once again, I think the whip is going to make mono black really good. 
since you have a lot of pay life effects in black uh, with, with, what's, with what it wants to do with a lot of the card advantage. So this to be able to get that life back since Vampire Nighthawk rotated is uh, going to be cool. Uh, Chain to Rocks, Gift to Immortality. I think this is going to be a really bomb enchantment. Um, I mean, they have to deal with the enchantment directly. Uh, otherwise, it's just a two-for-one all day long. At uh, it, it worst, I mean, it's just going to keep coming back. Um, let's see, Heroes Downfall. This is a really, really good card. Uh, good that Dreadbore made it to a single color. And yet another thing that's going to make Mono Black really good. Uh, Anger of the Gods. This is another awesome card that I'm pumped about. Steam Augury is interesting, like an interesting weird factor fiction thing. Swan Song, I was actually surprised, was so expensive at like four or five bucks to counter an enchantment instant or sorcery, and then they get a two-two bird. But I guess that's fine. Um, for one, you know, I, they, they you have to get some sort of downside, and I, I don't know, I I just rather not play counter spells. Uh, the two really shitty uh, promos. And these separate all my junk rares that I got. Like, I got two Colossus, this Colossus. I got the horse, hundred-handed one. Uh, a couple artisan of forms, tormented hero. That's an uncommon, and that should be with the uncommon, with, uh, with the other stuff. Uh, Labyrinth Champion, Revered Hunter. Uh, why are, why do I have a common? Why do I, man, I must have been really tired last night when I was sorting these if I accidentally put commons in my, in uncommons in my rear binder. Uh, this Triads of Fate is like a really bad card, but they gotta print bad cards to make other cards look good, I get it. And that's it, I mean, these are the junk stuff that nobody cares about. Um, I mean, all I really have left for my sets is like some of the lands I've been collecting. Like, I pretty much just kept a play set of everything, and uh, and sold all my all my stuff to make uh, a really competitive legacy deck because lands are expensive. And then with the rest of the box, I organized everything today. So you have like your commons and uncommons. You know, it's just all by color and alphabetical, which will actually make it really easy to um, put this rubbish back that I forgot. But that's the video, guys. Uh, I mean, this is how I store all my stuff. I do this with every set that comes out, make a little binder for it. And then once it rotates, sell, sell it all as bulk or give it away to, you know, some kids that are just starting the game and are freaking out because you just gave them a thousand cards that you weren't going to do anything with anyway. But uh, there you go, guys. That's my video. Um, I'm looking for Thoughtsies and uh, Foil Thoughtseizes. Uh, if you got them, I'll trade for them. Anything in this binder is for trade, uh, as as far as like the standard stuff goes. Um, I, I'll I'll definitely be unloading the planeswalkers and just try to finish up uh, some of the stuff I need for legacy. And Thoughtseize is one of those cards. I I did get one out of my box. It went straight into my deck. Um, so I'm trying to pick up more. If you got them, hit me a message or leave me a comment on here. And uh, I don't know. Have fun cracking packs. All right, take it easy, guys. Hope your uh, pulls may be godly. Peace.